Lymphedema is when there's accumulation of lymphatic fluid in your upper extremity after a breast cancer removal. And uh, that uh, fluid that gets built up in your upper extremity is unable to be removed because the lymphatic vessel network has been disrupted. The body has uh, three kinds of uh, vessels. One is the artery that will bring the blood flow to your tissues. You have the veins that will remove that blood from your tissues. And some of the fluid that remains in the tissue is also called lymphatic fluid. That fluid is removed through this third vessel type, which is the lymphatic network. And when that lymphatic network gets disrupted, patients develop uh, fluid accumulation in the upper extremity or lower extremity, and therefore develop lymphedema. Lymphedema can be as common as 8% uh, of all the patients that had uh, lymph node removal after mastectomy or radiation to the axillary lymph nodes. In the community, think about lymphedema as being synonymous with breast cancer. And that's because breast cancer is very prevalent. We have lots of advocacy surrounding breast cancer, and so we are focused on getting that word out. But in reality, it's really more of a function of the lymph nodes, and it can affect people who have been treated for other cancers. It's important to really stratify. If you're looking at just those patients who have a few lymph nodes removed, which is the majority of women who have breast cancer, the risk is probably about 5%. Unfortunately, though, we still see women with advanced cancers who need more treatment for their lymph nodes with more nodes removed or with radiation, and those each affect that lymphedema risk, making it higher. Patients uh, who develop lymphedema, they have uh, difficulty because uh, there's uh, swelling in the upper extremity that will reduce some of their motion. Uh, they have discomfort. Uh, a lot of them report pain. There's also increased risk for developing uh, skin infections that we call cellulitis. Uh, these patients feel that their arms are overall heavy and that makes a big difference in their quality of life. Unfortunately, lymphedema is a chronic condition and there's no cure. However, there are some new surgical techniques that we offer that can improve the treatment of lymphedema because they address the reason why the arm is accumulating fluid, which is the disruption of the lymphatic network. Although surgery is not a cure for lymphedema, microsurgical treatment can help patients by reducing the swelling of their extremity and improving their quality of life, making the condition more manageable. So, so when you develop lymphedema and you have this swelling, we've recognized that identifying the swelling early and intervening at an early time point really helps to, in most cases, halt the progression to something that's more severe. If you, we don't want you to get it. If you get it, we want to keep you at a, at a very mild form where you can still be highly functional.